so check this out. There was already an official military intelligence program in place to collect information on UFO sightings just like this one. Opened in the 40s, Project Sign, which had originally been named Project Saucer, would, <laughs> would investigate these kind of reports. Unfortunately, most of the reports that they would investigate turned out to be bullshit. They were hoaxes or misidentifications of known aircrafts, natural phenomenon. However, there were a few cases that remained unexplained. By 1952, the UFO Investigation Unit had changed their name once again, and this time it's one that you're more familiar with, now known as Project Blue Book and led by Captain Edward Ruppelt from the Wright-Patterson Air Force Base in Daytona, Ohio. But even though this sector of the military already existed, nobody bothered to tell Ruppelt about the sightings at DC. What? Why? <laughs> right, exactly. And you know how he found out? When he flew into Washington, D.C. a few days later, and he read about it in the news. <laughs> yeah, and that's he's some like, bullshit. <laughs> uh, guys, I'm here. It's my whole fucking that's job. My job. <laughs> that's right. This is all I do. That's all I do day long, every day. And you're, you're withholding this information from me? Well, <laughs> not withholding. They told the news. <laughs> I mean... Yeah, they told the news. Well, so, so, yeah, it, it kind of got out because all of these people had seen things and they're talking and somebody's like, whoa, what? Hold on a minute. What's your story, bro? You know, and he wrote it down and it's now in the news. Right. You know, so, yeah, somebody was talking, just not to him. Upon arrival in D.C., Ruppelt tried to get out to the National and to Air and to Andrews in order to interview the radar operators and air traffic controllers, but he was denied by his superiors, and he ended up flying back to Ohio with nothing. What? Okay, now that really doesn't make any sense. It stinks. They're, they're that... keeping secrets from the department that's supposed to investigate that that is a part of their government, so yeah, right. they keep <laughs> secrets from each other within. I, well, I'm not surprised by that. Yeah, but... right. I Yeah. That's our government, guys. <laughs> the very next Saturday, the UFOs were back over the nation's capital. But guess who again was last to find out? That's maybe, right. Maybe. Always the bridesmaid, never the bride. <laughs> Starting to think maybe he's bad at his job. <laughs> <laughs> he's just always on the toilet. Like when they're trying to get a hold of him. He he's like, that Did I phone call? <laughs> You missed that phone call? They didn't have, like, you know, answering machines back then. So he's like, huh, I guess they'll call back. You know, they didn't have, you know, what, was it, what is it? Star 68, Star 69, yeah, like, never called back. Yeah. 